if I have to make a second part of this video. Of course I had to make a second part to this video because my video always shuts off. Anyway, you guys are probably sick of hearing about that by now, but the, uh, what I was trying to get across in the last video, the last, the first part of this one is that, yeah, there's just a lot of really, really fascinating and encouraging movements going on on you, um, on the web and in existence in general, but I'm accessing them, like finding about finding out about them through the web, and I'd really like to start getting involved kind of full-time with these kinds of organizing efforts to essentially make the world a better place. Very cliche statement, but um, it's a really real thing, you know? We, I, I kind of, that's, I find that that's where my joy is in life that my biggest joy joys are learning and sharing knowledge with others like exchanging this knowledge having fun like being outside being in nature um enjoying the best health ever <laughs> um and connecting with others seeing ways to knit the collective life into uh, a brighter one for everyone involved and my education over the last year in terms of scholastics has been amazing. Um, but actually one of the, like, <laughs> the most profound things that I've ha gotten to experience is, is having time and resources to explore many other avenues um, of life in a detailed way. And so it's left me really excited and kind of um, perhaps impulsive. We'll see how things work out. I, I'm setting my intentions on things working out work very well. Um, I think that the environment out, out there is one such that things will be fine, <laughs> especially if I believe that they will be. Um, but yeah, I'm, I thrive in the vibration of love and enjoy and that's where I feel comfortable and so I kind of feel like I'm going back to Virginia to the east coast of the US for some time I'm going to try to see where I can um, set up my roots so to speak for for a while and try to share information about things like raw veganism for instance but the concepts of nutrition in general um, how these kinds of things like the, the the health of the physical body relates to consciousness and specifically through my own experience of these things. There's so many brilliant, brilliant, very, very, very experienced people out there in these fields, and I've just been blessed enough to find their information and and learn in various formats and various, truly, just a lot of uh, personal experiences in my life um, about these topics and how um, how life can get better by trying to learn more and explore more about these kinds of things. So I want to share that information with other people <laughs> and um, also get into things like permaculture, get into things like sustainable living in a very practiced way, but also showing others how it's possible. And from my science side, from my biologist side, also try to do a better job as someone who has learned, you know, what I've learned in, in my studies and personal experiences, um, doing a better job at sharing that kind of information with others, like demonstrating how accessible this kind of stuff is to everyone and how potentially interesting, <laughs> um, but also useful this kind of stuff can be, this kind of knowledge, um, not only, you know, from the anthropogenic sense, but just from the amazing, wondrous life sense, you know, biology, study of life, and we're all living, right? So, um, I'm not sure if this made it into the last video or not. I think it didn't. Uh, but my intention is to try to launch a website in the next few weeks. And essentially, I'm trying to network with those that are out there who I've found very inspiring um, in my last several years of existence and learning. Um, and see how it can all lace together <laughs> to start motivating myself and others towards maximizing, you know, vibrancy of life for everyone. And 
that's me. That's what I'm doing. And so, like I was saying, I'll be back in Virginia around mid-July. And if there's anybody out there watching this who is interested in trying to talk about these kinds of subjects, maybe organize um, some sharing opportunities, potentially quote business opportunities. Essentially what I'm looking for is a way to make an income doing the things that I love. And I've got a lot of ideas that are, you know, floating in here I need to put out there. So I've got some books that I'm trying to write and this kind of thing. But um, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. But if anybody has any advice in terms of ways to, I'm going to be growing my own food um, in a garden where my grandparents live for the most part anyway, as much as I can and see if I can't get into kind of an organic produce share over there. I'm going to miss my Portuguese fruit market so much and there's figs growing on all the trees here. It's been so good. But um, yeah, I'm off to try to do some <laughs> some other things and try to find other ways because really, yeah, that's one of the reasons why I want to go back to my area where I came from <laughs> anyway because um, it's not like Cali or some of the major cities like New York or Seattle where the kind of the health food and the um, earth conscious like community so to speak are options aren't aren't as prolific like aren't as available and I think it would be really cool to make those kinds of things more available because it's through like the availability of knowledge and opportunity that people can have choice and thus if they choose to choose to start moving their personal lives and then collectively the life of you know, life, <laughs> the planet, universe, everything into a better vibe. So healthier vibe, etc. at least from my perspective. So I will make another video really soon. And I really want to send all of you guys very, very, very much love and best wishes on your weekend. Maybe I'll post another one over the weekend. But yes, I'm, I would really love to be talking with, debating with anyone out there um, about these kinds of topics and the things that are, for instance, in the subject matter of my uploads and the favorite section of this channel, um, I really value exchanging information. So I'll talk to you guys soon. And since the video will probably turn off awkwardly, let's see if I can try to show you outside one more time. Last time it cut off at the plants. So let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Here's Portugal. At least what's outside of my window. It's not so foreign looking, is it? There's sun and trees. Little small cars. And there's a little boy staring outside the window. George! Jorginho! <laughs> no, oh, he's scared. No, no, no sound. <laughs> he thinks there's horses on the video. Logo? Queres que balas logo? Ok, we'll watch horses later. Um momento! <laughs> ok, and so, nature, etc. And I love you guys, talk to you later. Bye!